Sir Isaac Newton came up with three laws of motion. Newton's first law states, an object at rest remains at rest, an object in motion continues in motion with a constant velocity unless acted upon by an external net force. Sir Isaac Newton's second law says, the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net force acted on the object and inversely proportional to the object's mass. It can easily be calculated F equals MA, force equals mass times acceleration. Now Sir Isaac's Sir Isaac Newton's third law says, if two objects interact, the magnitude of the force exerted on object 1 by object 2 is equal to the magnitude of the force simultaneously exerted on object 2 by object 1, and the two forces are in opposite directions. One real life example of Newton's laws of motion is seen through football. As I throw this ball, it will stay in motion until Lauren catches it. According to Newton's third law, the nail exerts a force on the hammer that is equal to the magnitude of the force that the hammer exerts on the nail. Got it. The main equation in Newton's law of motion is force equals mass times acceleration. A 20 kilogram ball is being pushed at 2 meters per second squared. What is the total force exerted on the ball? The mass of the ball is 20 kilograms. The acceleration is 2 meters per second squared. Uh, force equals 20 times 2. The force is 40 newtons. An object at rest stays at rest. And an object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by another force. And that's Newton's first law of motion. Cody Drees here with uh, Tony Slauson and uh, Brian Welch. And uh, we have a few questions for him today. And uh, my first question is, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear Newton's laws of motion? Um, you know, I think of uh, Sir Isaac Newton. You know, when he was sitting under the apple tree and uh, here comes a little apple, falls on his head, right? And he's like, why did that? Why'd that fall on my head? And he's thinking, you know what? I'm going to make some laws about this. Great answer. Great answer. Here you go, Brian. Uh, I usually just think about fig newtons. <laughs> so how would you explain Newton's first law of motion? Well, it would definitely be uh, that an object at rest stays at rest unless acted upon by another object. Like football, for example. It's going to sit here unless uh, an outside force like that. <laughs> like that comes and hits it. And uh, it's going to move unless uh, it's hit by something. All right, so um, let's say a monster truck and a sports car get in a head-on collision. Uh, what do you think would be the result of that? Uh, well, you see, the two cars would have uh, two separate masses, and when they would collide, the monster truck would obviously have the greater mass exerting a greater force on the sports car, thus a crash would occur, <laughs> and then the monster truck would crush the sports car because its mass is greater. Well, depending if it's the grave digger or not, um, it, the monster truck would probably probably uh, run the sports car right over, like no problem. So, if an object is at rest, can we assume that there are no uh, external forces on on the object? Uh, well, actually, gravity is always uh, playing a part on that. Um, it's affecting at a rate of nine point eight one meters per second squared. Gosh, thank you. Well, clearly, <laughs> if if something's just there, it's not going to go anywhere. Unless something pushes it, like wind. Or something like that. Thank you, guys. So, uh, how would Newton's laws of motion be uh, exemplified in, let's say, baseball? Uh, when the batter swings, the mass of the bat times the acceleration of it uh, exerts a greater force on the ball, allowing it to be hit in the forward position. And uh, gravity is always acting on it, too. So, gravity is also going to slow it down after the ball is hit, uh, making it stop. Thank you, Tony. Brian? Well, I remember when Clayton Kershaw won the uh, NL uh, Cy Young Award. He threw over 200 strikeouts, and he was definitely a force to be reckoned with in the league. And ever since then, I think he's been at the top of his game. <laughs> Thank you, Brian and Tony.
<laughs> Something happens to it. Maybe I do that. <laughs> Can we assume that there's no uh, external... F ex the main equation of Newton's laws of physics... One real life situation has to do with Newton's laws of fit. One real life situation has to do with uh, Lewin's. <laughs> <laughs>